Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you an activity you can do with Google Drawings to get to know your new students and so they can get to know you. What we're going to do here is have students create pictures like this one where they put themselves in front of places that they'd like to go or like to visit in the world. So I'm going to show you how I made this image in Google Drawings. First of all, we're going to use a tool called Photo Scissors. You can find it at photoscissors.com. And I'm just going to upload a picture of myself that I want to remove the background from. So I have this image here. And I'm going to remove the background from that image. And Photo Scissors will do that for me automatically. And then I can download a new version that has the background removed. Now I'm going to go into my Google Drawings and create this where I'd like to go. And I'm going to pick an image to use as my background. Now you could have students use pictures that they own or perhaps use a site like Pixabay or Unsplash to find images that they can insert or even use the search the web function that's built into Google Drawings to find a picture. Maybe they want to go to, let's say, Jasper National Park. And they can find images here. But in my case, I have an image that I want to use as my background. So I'm going to drag that onto the Google Drawings canvas. And I'm going to stretch it out. And I can make it a bit larger if I like. And now I'm going to drag in the image of myself with the background removed from it. And again, I can reposition everything here as necessary. Just click and drag on the corners and reposition it. And I can reposition myself in there. Now, you could have students put in some labels like a text box and say, something like that and label it. They can change that font, make it larger or smaller or change the style. Perhaps they wanna use the Acme font and they can even center it up if they like. Now, when they're done, they can hit the file button and download it as an image or as a PDF. Now, you can do this same thing in Google Slides or in Jamboard. You do it here in Google Slides. The process is exactly the same. I'm going to drag in the image that I want to use on that Google Slide, reposition it, and then drag on the image of myself and adjust the positioning. And again, I can use all the text tools that I want to label this. And when we're done, we can just go to the file menu and again, download a PDF or an image. And finally, in Jamboard, you can do the same thing. But in Jamboard, you need to use the Add Image button first, then drag your image on. And we can click and drag to, again, reposition this and resize it as needed. And drag in the other image that you want to use. And there we have it. And if you want to download it, you can download it in the upper right corner as a PDF or as an image. Now, if you want your students to do this, you could tell them just to go to Google Drawings, Google Slides, or Google Jamboard and do these things. Or you could create the assignment for them in Google Classroom, which is what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to go to my classwork. I'm going to create my assignment. And I'm going to call it where would you like to go? 
Let's see. Please use photoscissors.com to remove the background from a picture of yourself. Then use that picture in Google Drawings to virtually place yourself anywhere in the world that you would like to go. Now, I'm going to include from my Google Drive that Google drawing that I originally made of where I'd like to go. So I'm going to now insert that one. Let me say my students can view the file or I'm going to make a copy for each student. Let me say, please modify the copy that you've been given. Now I'm going to assign that to my students with the due date of, let's say, Friday. And I'll create a new topic and I'll call it getting to know each other. And now it's assigned to my students to complete by using Google Drawings. So that's a fun way to get to know your students a little bit at the start of the school year and introduce them to Google Drawings, Google Slides, or Google Jamboard. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.